is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com, and it's Tasks for the Weekend, December 19th, 2020. This week I'm going to talk about a little program called Auto Runs. It's a program actually written by Mark Rasinovich. Uh, Mark Rasinovich, for those of you who remember, he um, had a, a company that he ran called Wind Internals. And um, for many years he was independent from Microsoft and then it got bought out by Microsoft. He now does quite a bit with um, Microsoft Azure, the cloud hosting services. Um, but he also still maintains some of these security tools and little command line tools that some of us find important. And this one in particular, um, I'll tell you in just a little bit about why I thought of this. But first what it does is it shows you what programs are configured to run during system boot up or login. This can be helpful, especially when you're trying to debug why a system is running so slow. It helps you know what's gotten, what's loading up, what's installed. So the reason why I thought of this was a very interesting blog post that I came across, and it had to do with the Solar Winds attack. Now, what Solar Winds is, um, it's a piece of management software that many big businesses put on their networks and an attacker was able to install into the coding processes a file that would then monitor the system. So they basically they slipped in a backdoor. And when they um, slipped this backdoor into various different computer systems, it's very concerning, to say the least. Now, in the big picture of everything, I don't think that we as individuals and we as small businesses are at risk here. That's not what the attackers were going after. They were going after governments. They were going after government secrets. They were possibly going after financial institutions. We don't know 100% at this time all of the companies that have been targeted. Needless to say, more will be coming out. But I don't honestly feel that attacker wanted my information on my machine. Rather, they were going after all of our information on somebody else's big server or nuclear codes or government secrets or something like that. They're going after a bigger target, not little old me. Now that said, what was interesting about this blog post was something I spotted inside of it. And I've got the blog post linked up and down here it was interesting because what the attacker did was it looked at the system and if it decided that it was a juicy system that that it wanted to target it went on but if it found that it was running some security software or anything that kind of monitored the system in any way shape or form it ran away and in particular if you had any kind of running processes related to security software when bg auto runs Wireshark. Wireshark is a network sniffing tool. And when I see network sniffing, um, when packets go between your machine and to a router or your machine in the internet, there's a way to install a program that will look at that traffic and try to intercept it. So anytime if a system had something on it that was looking and monitoring the system, the attackers went, hey, we don't want any part of this. We're not going to touch that system. So while I don't see, I'm not advocating that auto runs is some kind of magical antivirus, you know, virus protection. I just found it fascinating that the attackers specifically looked for certain things like auto runs and said, hey, if it's there, I'm not going to touch it. So the very thing that I use to figure out what's going wrong on my computer is something that they didn't want to see on the system in the first place. So the way you install auto runs on your system is you go out to the website auto runs and you download it. It's a little um, zipped up file and you execute. It. So you click on it, open it up, extract it out, and then you click on the auto runs.exe and run it. And when it first comes up, it shows you all the different running processes on your computer and what registry key they're hooked to. And usually when I'm trying to debug why something is slowing down, I'll look first at logon. 
and I'll see, hey, what is first firing up? What's slowing my system down? As you can see, Teams is one of the ones that turns on on this machine. OneDrive, Snagit. So it gives you a insight into what programs automatically load up. And it was interesting to me that the attackers didn't like to see this program running. So again, I'm not saying that this is a prevention tool. I just thought it was fascinating that they reacted to this being on the system. I recommend that you take a look at it. It is a bit cryptic. It's sometimes hard to understand what it's trying to tell you. By all means, if you have any questions, post out in the Ask Woody forms. Um, we can help you with any information on it. But I just think it's an all-around good tool to have to diagnose when something's not quite right in your system. And especially if you're always asking yourself, gee, how come my computer's a little slow or sluggish, especially on boot up? This is a really good way to identify a little bit more of what's going on underneath the hood. So I hope that gave you a little bit of tip to next time you have a sluggish system, take a look at auto runs. Have a great week. Holidays are right around the corner. And as always, the newsletter is out tomorrow. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for Ask Woody.